Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a hair tutorial. I know you guys have been asking me to film more of them. So today I have one for you and I'm going to be showing you how to do this really sexy, messy, beachy, I don't know what you would want to call it. This is like my go-to wavy hair. I'm going to show you how I achieve this look using um, just a few different things. So I'm going to be using a flexible, like a really flexible hold hairspray. And then I'm going to be using a dry shampoo. Um, that's just because I personally like to use a dry shampoo to lift my roots and to give me volume. And then I'm also going to be using my Numi curling iron. So I have the 32 millimeter wand. And this is one of my favorite wands to use mainly because the cord, I know you guys, it kind of sucks when you're trying to curl your hair and you have like a cord all up in your eyes. So this one rotates, which I really like. And then it also heats up really, really fast. It only takes a few seconds, like five or six seconds. So if you guys want to see how I do this messy, beachy, sexy hair, then keep on watching. So I have my hair clipped up and this is it dirty. And I like to do this style better when my hair is dirty because it lasts longer. And then I just like to brush everything out so that way I don't curl any knots into my hair. I have like a serious wave right here. Okay, and then once everything's curled out, I just like to coat my whole head with a really flexible holding hairspray. Okay, so now that my hair is sprayed and ready to go, I'm actually gonna start curling it. And I like to curl it in sections because I have like a bajillion layers in my hair. So I just do it like I'm doing a half up, half down hairstyle. And then I pull this part up and I just have a little, one of these little clips, that way it doesn't kink my hair when I put it up. Okay, so now I'm ready to curl and I'll start on this side. And I'm gonna take about a one inch section and then pointing the barrel downward, I'm gonna start it about one fourth of the way down from my root and then spin it around. And I like to put as much space between the actual curls as possible to make it look more wavy instead of curly. And then I leave about a one and a half inch section at the actual bottom, not curled, so that way it's just straight because it makes it look more sexy. So I just hold it on for a few seconds and then you have a wavy thing and then you just keep doing that a hell of times. Okay, so I finished curling the whole bottom section of my hair and then I just like to spray it one more time with some hairspray because the bottom section, I don't know if it's healthier or something, but it tends to be a little bit more stubborn. So I just spray it one more time. Okay, so now I'm ready to start on the next section of my head and I like to do the sides. I just part it on the left side and then on the right side and I leave my mohawk section for last. Then I just tie this up one more time. Okay, and then I do the same thing on this section. The closer I get up to the top of my head, I use smaller sections of hair, so that way it looks extra wavy, more so on the top than on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm all done with the left and the right and I just spray it Unamas time. So now I'm gonna do the top mohawk section, which is definitely the most crucial because if you curl it wrong, it'll make your whole head look crazy. So what I do is I pull back, I don't know, this is like a fourth of the back section of my head and I hold that part back and I'll tell you why I do that in a second and then I just clip the rest of this part one more time in the center so I get a nice little sexy bun right here. Okay and then with this section back here I'm going to use just a regular teasing comb and tease it because I have like so many calyx in the back of my head I don't even want to show you because it's so embarrassing but I just like to spray it with a hairspray back here and do a little tease not even to get a ton of volume, just that way my calyx can mend together and kind of disappear because if I don't, I'll have like a big bald spot on the back of my head and I can't have that. So I just like to spray it 
really quickly with the same hairspray and then give it a little teasy tease. And I do this in sections too, just like two. So then I let that dry and then once that's kind of dry, then I just come back in and curl in this space. So all the sections that I just teased in the back of my head, I'm gonna curl my hair with the barrel pointing back. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this front section. So my hair usually parts on the side, so, so now I can tell where everything's gonna fall normally, so that way I can hold the barrel in the right direction. Towards the top section of my hair, I wanna make sure I do as small of sections as possible. Especially like this one right here, it's kind of long and awkward and the curl at the top will look really weird if I don't split it up. So I'm gonna split this one in half and then I just do the same thing and I curl it down and kind of facing back. <coughs> Shh. If you guys wanna see more details on the Numi curling iron, you can check the description box down below and I'll have some information down there. Okay, so this side's good. And now I'm gonna do, this is like the most important part for me anyway. Cause if I curl this part wrong, it's just gonna ruin my whole day. And then I always like to curl these ones, obviously going down, but kind of more back than, if you do it straight forward, it's gonna give you kind of something funky. Okay, so now I'm doing my last section of hair, which is one of the most crucial. Cause if I don't curl this right, I will look like I should be on that 70s show or something, and I don't like having 70s-ish hair. So now I'm just gonna take these sections and keep curling them backward and down. Okay, so this one, this is my crazy one. If I curl this all in one section, it's gonna give me like a really floppy looking curl. So I split it in half, the front and the back, and then I try and keep it as bunched up as possible so it doesn't fan out when I curl it. And then I curl it going as back as possible. Okay, and now all my hair is curled, um, but then I just like to spray it one more time before I shake it out. Okay, and then I just let it sit and be crazy for a second and let the hairspray dry. And then I like to shake it out with my hands, that way it looks really, really messy. And what I do is I just kind of flip all my hair to one side, like such as, and then I take my hand and I just start shaking it. And the more you shake it, the messier it's gonna look, so it kind of depends how messy you want it. And then I flip it to the other side. Don't put lip gloss on before you do this either. Okay, so this is kind of the initial first outcome after you shake it and spray it. It's really, really fluffy. Okay, so when I use the dry shampoo in my hair, so I do mine a little further away, but I just kind of focus it at the roots, not so much in my actual length of my hair. And I just kind of do it up at the top in the crown section. So if you like really big Texas 80s prom hair, I recommend using a root pump or some type of dry shampoo hairspray in your roots. And then I'll also add some beach spray right now so that way you can see what it looks like when you add a beach spray to make it look messier. Okay, so I just sprayed this section of my hair using the beach spray. So you can tell over here, it's like a little bit more PC. I guess that's the word I would use to describe it. So this side is definitely more PC. And then this side over here, I didn't use any type of beach spray. So this is just regular hairspray and it's definitely more calm. So that wraps up the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. All good.